property owners have been very kind to let us set up and paint out on the land and uh, not too many guidelines other than if the gates closed when you walk through close it when you get through and let's see what we have got a friend to help me along I'm gonna call him uh, emotional support animal but look what I got and this area that I'm painting is open to the cattle so I'm hoping they actually come up and give me a nuzzle really just cutting in big shapes now the the hillside trying to keep it pretty cool and generic and uh, as much one tone as I can there's some great cedar trees that are flanking the pasture right up against the hill that are going to provide some um, value shifts some temperature shifts that I can riff off of and this fence in the foreground is going to be a challenge but um, really could be an interesting element for moving the eye Okay, it really is this simple just to see big shapes. And uh, when you have a mix, go for it with that mix. And uh, I don't always paint on an unprimed or un, let's say untoned surface. This is a white canvas board. I've gotten comfortable doing that, but I really like getting some kind of tone underneath. But for today's purposes, it was ready, paint, aim. And uh, the shape to the left is gonna be a gravel field road. And the shape to the immediate right of that where I haven't covered anything is a fence that's really got a lot of warm property qualities to it and has a lot growing along it that makes for abstract opportunities. And you can see that there's a uh, Secondary fences that are almost imperceptible if you squint your eye closer to that barn. There's a secondary barn, and some cedars trailing away from it. I haven't really made up my mind. I'm going to handle that. Okay, so now I'm locked in some of the fence line and I'm working on the road and uh, not many edges. I think I'm going to go back and work this kind of in reverse and maybe add edges later. Hopefully not too many, but um, you see the big value shapes and uh, big elements. And I'll go back and at some point judge whether I'm too warm or too cool, how I need to balance out the temperature in the whole painting. Um, and I have some decisions to make with cedar trees and, and just placement that maybe I could move things around to help the composition and lead the eye the way I want to. Okay, I blocked in the rest of the road and the fence and I'm kind of holding off on the roofs of barns. You can see that they're real bright and they're very warm compared to the sky. And it's one of those days where it's just a very high pressure system day where the sky is just blown out 
bright, clear, perfect. It's just a, it's not a day you'd want to paint the sky specifically, but it's a really good day for light being um, just very crisp everywhere. Come back, Shane. Shane, come back. And this is the progress of my painting so far. Just, uh, need one of you guys to come out here and kind of, um, maybe prod them into grazing a little more getting out they were a little bit scattered when I started but they've all kind of gotten in their uh, I guess it's their reading club or something they're all sitting around discussing a good book maybe